All right, time for some Kids Corner. One of my favorite people in the whole entire world. Kid correspondent, Ms. Chloe Newell from True Blood hey. is black, uh, back. Chloe, good morning. Good to see you. It's good to see you, too. I fought um, Raul for this segment, by the way. I said, I'm uh, doing this today. Erica Foxy Fox is off, and uh, you're all mine today. Let's talk about yeah. the circus, young lady. It's coming to town. Yeah, the circus is coming to San Diego at the Valley View Casino Center. And... Sorry, Barnum and Bailey, it's the greatest show on earth. Okay. And, um... You like the circus? Yeah, it, I love the circus. It's always so much fun with the clowns yeah. and all the acrobats and stuff. And the pre-show mm -hmm. is one of my favorite parts, is the all-access pass. It's the circus is here from Thursday to Sunday. Okay. And... Yeah. You get to watch like the whole show and, and, and the elephants. And Thursday yeah. is the opening day. Opening day it's of the and, Yeah, I will. Yeah. And t tickets are $10. Oh, that's good. Only $10. So you can take for, like the whole family. But only for opening day. Only for opening day. Okay. Yeah. Well, we put the ticket information uh, and dates and times and whatnot on our website. That's well, great. Let's, um, Chloe, get to the important sugar. Are you kidding me? Tomorrow is a very special day. It's Root beer float day. Oh, root beer floats. I used to drink these so much when I was your I, age. Root beer is no joke, my favorite drink. No joke? Ever. Really? Ever. That's I will drink sugar it all the time. I know. Okay, I love so, it so much. You know. brought some treats, though, on things that you can do with the root beer. Yeah. To celebrate root beer float day, there's, well, obviously, you can make a root beer float or you can make this root beer float fudge. It's it's a hard thing to say. Wow. Okay, let's all try um, it. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's really good. What you do is you take butter, mm. heavy. Oh, try some of the the brown. That's that's the part that's got the root beer oh. concentrate. Okay. It's delicious. Sorry, I tried the other part. Um, and so, uh, mm. as you can see, we did butter, mm. heavy cream, okay. and sugar, mm -hmm. and once it's all, you've brought that all to a boil, okay. add um, white chocolate chips uh -huh. and the marshmallow fluff. Okay. And separate it. Mm -hmm. And add, pour half of it into the pan. And with the other half, add root beer concentrate. And it's so rich. I fun. know. It's, it's, it's so really good. good. Like my mouth is locked right now. It's delicious. Okay, that's really um, fun. Any other treats with root beer? What yeah, we, this is a pie. You made a root beer pie? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So what you do is you take instant vanilla pudding, uh -huh. milk, root beer, root beer concentrate, and a store-bought pie crust because, I mean, kids are going to make it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Make it easy. Yeah. Okay. And all you do... Yeah. All you do is stick your finger in it and eat it, or put your face in it, as, as Shally would say. Yeah. And that's it. You mix so, it all up and you yeah, put it in the fridge? Yeah, mix them all up. With the root beer concentrate, and this time you actually use root beer. Okay. Like the real, the oh, real, real stuff. Beer. Okay. Um, and you mix it all up. Put it in the fridge? With uh, some whipped topping. Uh huh. To make it nice and fluffy. Okay. And uh, voila. put it in the crust and just add some whipped cream on, on the top. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we go from root beer float day. One to favorite Kool day, Kool-Aid day. Before we talk about yeah. Saturday being National Kool-Aid Day, a uh, little birdie told me the very first commercial you ever shot yep. was for Kool-Aid. It was. Let's take a look. Yeah. Here's I can't see. Oh, there it is. He's okay. Swear. I want to see it. Yeah. Sugar than soda. Kool-Aid. Delivering more smiles for Oh, my gosh, Chloe. That You're was the first so commercial I ever How did. That's when I was you? six. You were six so, years old. First acting job that I had ever done, like, professionally. So Kool-Aid has a very close place to your heart. Yes, it does. And I, I love Kool-Aid. I mean, I always mix it in with my drinks, but... Now there are there are different ways that you can use Kool-Aid. Okay, what can we do? This looks fun to do with the kids. You know those candy dots? Mm -hmm. They got the mm -hmm. flavored candy dots. Mm -hmm. Now you can make them with Kool-Aid. Okay. All you do is take pasteurized egg whites because you know you want to be safe. Okay. With pasteurized. Okay. And then you mix them with sugar. You beat them with like uh, a mixer for okay. like four minutes. Okay. And then you separate Put them the into different in bowls and 
you add in Kool-Aid, you put them in the sandwich baggies and try one. Can I, I? said the yeah, the black cherry is my favorite. This one? Okay. Yeah, it, they're delicious and you just, then once mm. you just put the I know. It's tart. <laughs> it is. It's it's, it's like tart. the smarty smarty. It candy. is. It's like the smarties. Okay. That's a really cool idea. Okay, what else? And they're delicious. I those are my personal yeah, favorite. Yeah, these are fun. And now we have meringue cookies and the Pretty much, they're like the dots, okay. which we just uh, mixed pasteurized. It, they didn't have to be pasteurized okay. for these because you're baking these. Right. So just eggs, egg whites, and sugar, and they add cream and tartar. Oh gosh, cream and tartar. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you like put them in a baggie, and, uh, and you just swirl them, swirl, swirl them, swirl them out, swirl and them there up, you go. And then you put them in the oven for a little bit to dry them out. Okay. That looks good. What yeah, about, really I see good. Vaseline and Kool-Aid. What is that? Lip gloss. Like lip balm. Liar. Really? What you do is you soften uh, petroleum jelly in the microwave. Okay. And then you just add Kool-Aid while stirring constantly. And you want to be careful because with the red, red colors, they would add a little bit of tint. And I love the way... It tastes? It tastes. <laughs> this is you the, didn't this even is add the... Splenda in it. Oh, we no. added Splenda in ours to make it taste good. Now I'm going to be licking my lips for the rest <laughs> of the show, Miss uh, Chloe. Okay, that's a really and good idea. And then we, oh, a few more. we had a leftover Kool-Aid for making all these crafts. We had tons of leftover Kool-Aid, as you, you can see. You made a Kool-Aid bag. We just sewed them together. And Are you kidding This was me? really easy. Then we just lined it with ribbon and added a strap at the top. And yes. we use Kool-Aid to tie-dye T-shirts. Wow. Yeah. That's made out of Kool-Aid, huh? It is. So we just uh, took T-shirts, wrapped them up, and this one's in a spiral. And this one is, we tried to make a heart, yeah. but it didn't really no, work out. I see out. the heart. I see the heart of that. Um, and then you just do a cup of vinegar and okay. add two Kool-Aid packages and squirt for, away. Each, uh, for each color, color that you want. Okay. And you twist it up, add rubber bands to hold it, and... Yeah, and it looks it, great. You let right. it dry for a little bit, uh, and then wait 24 hours. After ironing it, you got to wait 24 hours in order to wash it. Uh, Chloe, you always come here with the best ideas. Thank you for visiting us again. Do you want to cheers with a fudge before we oh, set, yeah. set it back? I don't know. We'll think about sharing with Raul. Cheers. Mmm. That's, that's oh, good. Well, that's well. Chloe always shares with me, Shali. Always. Thank you, ladies. Still ahead on the Fox 5 Morning News, why some experts say play dates.